on three wheels between system and spontaneity. That's pretty much my life. Working with systems, struggling with systems, being challenged by systems, thinking that my freedom is often threatened. Two years ago, I came to Milan, learning to, and I was in a workshop with Paolo Guinto, heart to hashtag. I think there's some of you who were in this audience who were in that picture, looking slightly younger. Um, in the workshop, it was a really interesting workshop. We totally deconstructed a science classroom, only for the science teacher to come back in and make it all the way back when we finished. But at the end of the, during the workshop, Paola talked about creating this hashtag, this hashtag from the heart. And her, her idea of the hashtag was, was the glue that binds your practice together, like the Twitter hashtag. So the idea that all the ideas, all the thinking that you have are all bound together by this one thing. And she used that in her classroom. I took my hashtag away and used it for my practice. The hashtag I chose was under the hood. Under the bonnet if you're English, or under bonnet if you're from Yorkshire. Um, and it was sort of that desire to find out what is this conflict that I feel with systems. I suppose I'm a little bit rebellious, maybe that's to do with it. But I wanted to know what, what the systems were about. What was the actual beating heart of these systems that I'm working in? And I started some research. And the research led me down the line of the maker movement. And Jay Silver of MIT, lifelong kindergarten, also of Makey Makey fame. I know some of you have worked with Makey Makey a lot. And this quote really stuck out. But it's the last word, conscientization, that for one I couldn't pronounce, but also I had no idea what it meant, and I just sort of let it go. And as my research went a little bit deeper, I actually found out other people were writing and using this word. And I came across Paulo Freire. Here's his book, Pedagogy of the Oppressed. And Paulo was an educator, an activist working in, in Brazil. With, in the favelas, with really challenging communities, but he worked with the oppressor and the oppressed together, and he got them to work together, to do something together. So what does it mean? Critical consciousness, or consciousness raising. Being really critical, but in a way that benefits you. So that process of developing that critical awareness and your own social social life, in a way, your reality that you're in. Learning is a, this critical process, and this was Paolo going on to talk about that we should be finding real problems and actual needs of people. And for me, sometimes you can be a little bit lost when you're trying to do that. And I think coming here together for this two and a bit days and now I've alert you stay out as well. That we can be lost together and try and find some of those, try and find our way a little bit. I think that's really special that we've got that opportunity. But I think it's also really important that we step out of these filter bubbles that we live in. All these echo chambers, I quite like that phrase. That was in a workshop a while back. Not just social media bubbles. We hear the press about the social media bubbles causing all sorts of things and persuading people to do things. But actually, I'm talking about institutional bubbles. So the bubble of an international school. I've been through international schools with my boys, and I've seen that, I've experienced that bubble. And that bubble within a bubble of living in a country like Luxembourg or Holland or England. So, or it could be your faculty meeting often quite bubble-like, I feel, when you're thinking, maybe I need to get out of that bubble right now. And we're here for a few, you know, a few days together. Paolo went, also went on to say that it's actually not enough just to talk. The dialogue isn't enough. We actually have to act together. We've got that opportunity in this next couple of days to really do something together. We can make something together. We can actually build an idea together and really work 
with this environment. We've got a wonderful environment in and out of school. We can actually do something together and then start to think how that is affecting us. And then we'll have a transformation. Then we'll be able to take that transformation back into our schools. And rather than feeling deflated, when we often leave conferences, we'll feel ready to act in our schools and our local communities. So, as I leave the stage, I want you to think about what's your hashtag? What's the one thing that you want to bind your thinking together with whilst you're here? Write it down now. Keep it close to you. Put it on your badge. Find others with a similar hashtag. Build your crew. And let's do something for this next few days. Thank you. <laughs>